scenarios. In this scenario, I will introduce you to all the controls, indicators and other features of the locomotive. After that, we will finish this tutorial by refueling and parking the locomotive. Now please take a look at the console first and then read the following information. This multi-directional red switch on the console controls the headlights of the locomotive. Turning the switch towards the front of the locomotive turns on the front markers and front headlights, respectively. Likewise, turning the switch towards the back of the locomotive turns on the back markers and back headlights. Press H key for front headlights and Shift plus H keys for rear headlights. In the previous tutorial, we already talked about the functions of the fuel switch and the general control switch. Likewise, I already showed the speedometer in the previous tutorial too. Here are the indicators on the left side of the console. Brake pressure gauges. Left white, main reservoir pressure, orange, air brake pipe pressure. Right white, front buggy, orange, rear buggy. Fuel pressure gauge. Coolant temperature. Oil pressure gauge. Left front turbo pressure gauge. Right rear turbo pressure gauge. Engine RPM counter. Matrix LED display. Fault warning display. Push for rear horn, pull for front horn. Press B key for rear horn and spacebar key for front horn. Train brake. Traction motor ammeter. Battery ammeter. Battery voltmeter. Also, we have the reading light in the front, next to the console. Press N key to open slash close it in addition, each time you press the metal paper clip under the reading light, you can see the timetable papers for different train services. I will explain them in the advanced level trainings. ATS display and control unit, press U key to open slash close it. Radio unit, press I key to open and shift plus I keys to close it. The valve on the assistant driver's front side is the emergency brake valve, press backspace key to apply it. The circuit breaker on the assistant driver's front side is to open slash close the cooking stove. And finally, you can open and close the curtains on the front windshields. Indicators and switches located on the rear wall are also fuel level gauge. The switch is on the rear panel, from left to right. Heating system switch, this switch must be in the eye position before the locomotive can start. Main light, this switch must be on one position in order to use lights and illumination. Lighting and or stove switch. Ok, so we learned the names and functions of all the indicators and controls of the locomotive. Now let's go to get some fuel for her. The sleepers you will see in front of and behind the fuel pump have been placed so that you can easily align the locomotive. If you adjust the front bumpers of the locomotive to be on the sleeper in the direction you are going, the animation of the fuel pump will coincide with the fuel can. 